when I was growing up in finance and still, I'm still growing up in finance. I don't, I, I still have a lot to learn, right? But I remember growing up in finance and, and building teams. And I remember when business partners used to communicate to me, right? I used to think about what they're saying in building a financial model. So let me give you an example. If I'm sitting across from a salesperson and they're like, man, Chris, I would love to look at our bookings forecast where our win rate is not 25%, but maybe 30 and 35% and see what the, and if we change the 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 value of our deals, like the deal size from like 8,000 to 10, how much cash that we would bring in if we had 50% of our contracts that were semi-annual before, right? I remember sitting across from the business partners as they're communicating to me, right? They're communicating. I'm already translating uh, how to build this financial model to give them so we can get to that information, right? That was a core skill set. And maybe a lot of people looking at this is like, yeah, Chris, I do that every day. Here's the new mindset that you need to have, right? Being able to take that same information where business, now I, I work with CEOs, business owners, and founders, and I work with their HR groups, their sales groups, their uh, all different areas of the organization because we're very collaborative. Now, when business partners talk to me, I no longer think about how to build a financial model. I'm thinking about how do I build the best prompt to get me the information that I need, right? So my mindset has shifted to not financial modeling. How do I build prompt modeling in my head? So walking through another example, right? We had a client that was dealing with the cash flow issues and we were diving into uh, understand like their collections policy and how they work through on driving in more cash and what their collection policy was. I'm on the, with the CEO, their salesperson, me, and somebody from my pod that was on the call. And we're working through this stuff. And they're like, yeah, Chris, like we're going to have to get with accounting. We're going to have to get sales involved. And, and I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, hey, you are a $50 million retail client. You're having a cash burn issue. Make me a clear and concise, easy to understand collection policy for non-finance people to understand and summarize it in a two-page memo and give me five PowerPoint slides. Like as they're talking to me in this, literally in the meeting, I'm thinking through the prompt, right? And this is a 30-minute meeting. We spent 10 minutes doing that. The last 20 minutes of this meeting, we spent customizing the information that was uniquely to their business, right? And at the end, we gave them to say, hey, here's a collection policy that you could go with, right? Thomas. The CEO and the salesperson after this meeting, they were just like, dear, they were quiet. They were like, dude, I'll, what I'll, just you know, so I'll, I'll, I'll take one even further with you on this. So just some people can do this. So you could add in live transcripting in Otter and you can take that transcripting and immediately dump out the prompts behind it. And if you, if you're a, any, in anything, but we'll just use the example of finance, what you're describing is as you're hearing that you're typing in the background of what the prompts are, save them and, and be like, just take any of the, the, the pieces in there. And like, what are the concerns? You can do a lot of this stuff in real time. Uh, but, but I will tell you though, is I add this step extra of, you know, it's, you know, you want to wow people, but no yeah. one's wowed more than taking a look at it and said in doing it in a way that's, then there's another thoughtful level that you've, you've added your value over it. And the reason I say that is because people who don't understand AI may look at that and they go, Hey, why do we need you? <laughs> Yeah. And so make sure you add your layer of value on top and, and refine and do the things you need to do because you don't want to outsource your own job. I've been an excellent at it my whole career. I've been really good at not getting promoted. Um, that's why I have a podcast named that. Um, and I'm very good at being asked to leave. And that's a good way to get your value deteriorated. They think they can bring an even cheaper resource in to run the prompts. And, and it's not the way to think, but it's how people do think. Um, yeah, and I, Michael, I just, I just want yeah. to add to that, Thomas. I think it's like that... I, I would disagree with you on that. Here's why I respectfully disagree, okay. right? I want to talk my, that's low value stuff. I want to talk myself out of that. Like, I don't want my team doing that work, right? Like, it gets back to what I mentioned earlier. Technology should be doing that. The value that we provided to them was we knew their business, right? We knew the business and said, okay, easy way to understand it is a football analogy. There's 100 yards in a football field, right? We got them to the 80 yard line and we spent that last 20 yard lines because we know the business. We know their frustrations. We know the bottlenecks that they have. We have all this business acumen and that's where we shined on the value. And that's why they left the conversation. They were like, Chris, this would have taken us hours to do multiple conversations. 
everything that we would have had to do, the, the time, energy, and effort and resources that we would have had to dedicate to get this piece of delivered that we got done in 20 minutes, right? So like I challenge to say like, yeah, like I didn't, the value was there, right? The value was the business acumen and knowing that and then experiencing that, how we can translate that to them. That's the value add, right? I, but I, again, I get that. I, I, I see that. And 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 when my, well, I guess my point is you have to add in, you said what I was trying to get to, I think better, if, is that you have to have knowledge of the business. For and sure. if you can write the prompts well enough ahead of time, but even having more insight where, and I love that fact, if you're doing fractional, hey guys, if if you can, you want to use that prompt yourself, you bring me in to help interpret what the thing you saw is. And that way, if that even helps you further scale or make a decision when, you know, maybe, you know, I've hit my hours for the week or whatever it is, right? Um, or, or, you know, grab me to help uninterpret. And I think that's when you're using a fractionally more powerful, you're leaving them in a better spot uh, with it. Definitely. Uh,